Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a really colorful um, makeup eye tutorial, makeup look video, whatever you want to call this video. Um, I'm going to be using, which is the palette I bought in, oh, it's upside down. Um, I bought this actually in Burlington um, on Sunday and I wanted to do a makeup video look whatever inspired by this palette um i did which was a purple theme very pretty very colorful it's been a while that i haven't used colored eyeshadow on my eyes but yeah so if you want to learn how to get this um purple eyelash look just keep on watching but first before getting on to this video makeup tutorial makeup look video whatever you want to call it go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there Become part of the crazy bonehead family with the cute bow on the side. Also, make sure to like this video at the end. Also, comment, share this video. Yada yada yada. And yeah, let's go ahead and get on to this tutorial using the Nicole Miller eyeshadow palette. It's backwards. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to this video. Okay, so starting off, I'm already prepped my eyelids and everything i use the lorac um eyelid primer that came in the little um palettes with the lorac pro palette the first one and the third one so i already have I already did that i'm gonna start first with um let's go ahead and do this like purpley shade i'm gonna put this onto my crease and for that i'm using which is a crease brush i know my brushes are not clean but I will get to them. We're just gonna go right here, tap off the oof access. Let's do that again, just in case. Let's grab our mirror and we're just gonna go ahead and put this as a crease. It's kind of like a transitional color. It's almost like, do you see that? These are very good. Okay, we're just gonna put this onto the crease. So we're going to do put that color on both creases just to go ahead and to define it just to make sure we're getting that good Ooh, and everything. So this, this color that I'm using which is on the pinky purple side which is this one right here. It's very very um they're pigmented they're not you know it's not chalky or anything. It does have a little bit of fallout but I mean I have higher end palettes that um I do have more kickback but this one is just really easy to blend you see that yeah I really I'm really I'm really liking the shadow it looks you guys can see that I don't know does it look it, it's like a lightish purple almost like a periwinkle it's like a purplish more like a violet I like it uh, I know my eyebrows are kind of harsh I tried to I got a little bit carried away all right, so our next color that we're gonna put just to make you know make it a little bit more vibrant. I'm gonna go ahead and take which is this color right here. Um, I'm gonna pop that into my outer corner, into my outer V, and then slowly um, pack it onto my lid. Not my lid, my outer corner. So I'll start from the outer corner, making a V. That is pigmented. I mean, you don't have to spend. This palette was just about eight dollars. It was seven ninety nine at Burlington, and it it's amazing. Okay, taking the same color, we're gonna go ahead and put it onto the other eye. So, all right. I'm trying to get it even. I'm trying to look at. I'm looking at the camera right now just to make sure I have it even. Do you ever, guys, uh, when you when you're putting on makeup, do you ever notice that one eye comes out very perfect and the other eyes just look kind of all wonky and everything? You're trying to get it even. That's what I'm doing. Cause this eye got a lot of color and I'm trying to make it even. All right, just to put a little bit more of color since it's, I only see. We're gonna go ahead and pop, which is this color right here, which is next to this dark one. Because we're gonna put this little light purple on our lid. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this right here, this color on uh, again on our crease. I'm trying to build out as much color as I can with these shadows. Um, 
just to not to make them look very nice but I'm trying to make it like ooh, you see that it's kind of I want to like I want to use as many purples as I can because it's rarely that I use color on my eyes um I'm used to oh I almost poked my eye there I'm used to which is more neutrals and stuff like that I used to do color back when I was working at an orthodontist um, but that all changed so oh it's looking out pretty good I have to add a little bit more color to this because it's looking a little they blend really well and everything it's just that sometimes when you're trying to do uh, one eye and the other one looks kind of crazy wonky looking thing so I'm trying to trying to blend everything out all right now that I have blended them out they look they're looking pretty good I mean for a colored eyeshadow I mean you guys can definitely tell I have color on my eyes now for our lid color what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and take which is this purple um, it's kind of like pinky purple and eh, that color right there onto my um, eyelid what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if it is um, they're kind of like satiny. This is what the color looks like. Uh, there we go. And these are shimmery, but some of them are kind of like a satin finish. And I'm really, really liking this color. Like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money on palettes eyeshadow palettes I mean I bought this at Burlington and Burlington store so I mean they might sell it somewhere else but I'm not sure where but I was really lucky enough to find it like I said you can always find shadows that are really good quality and the good thing about this palette is there no fallout so I'm gonna call this probably my little pony makeup these purples are very pretty just because um I don't know it's just something about it. it's kind of like making like a little small halo mm -hmm. okay I'm just gonna pack this on and let's try wetting it I feel like these type of shadows need to be wet I'm gonna a little bit of wet some wet uh, I think these shadows need a little help I want to get a little pigment I'm gonna take which is my um, NYX matte finish setting spray and I'm just gonna take my brush and wet it I'm just gonna go ahead and take which is this color right here uh, pack it onto my brush and I'm just gonna take this and oh yeah do you see that do you guys see that if you can't then I don't know what do you guys see the difference this is a little bit more brighter wetting it A lot oh uh, yeah just I'm using these brush I'm using the echo two ones in the pink packaging um, I got these brushes at Marshall's they also have the blue ones um, I really like them a lot I'm like a huge fan of echo tools their brushes are amazing. I have a lot of them, but it's hard for me to get all of them on there. I'm just taking that white brown bone color and just putting it onto my brow bone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take again that blending brush. Ooh, that fell. And I'm just going to go ahead and just blend it together, making it not so harsh. That way, um, it's just all together and it's not, you know, you have two separations of color, so yeah and then we're just gonna go ahead I'm gonna take my finger and let me see if I have a brush for that nope I have that one over there I'm just gonna go ahead and take which is 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end of this spoolie brush dab it into that highlighter color there there's a hair on it there's a hair again I'm like I'm holding it on to it that's gonna make me clean I'm just gonna go ahead and that didn't work I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger instead and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it into the outer corner like that so you guys see the difference you can see a little bit of the shininess on there like so you guys see it brings out it brings in light into the eyes let alone that this makeup thing right here is already not makeup thing makeup tutorial video whatever you want to call it I just put a little bit just on the bottom line just because I wanted to all right now I'm just gonna go ahead and do it it's just put on my eyeliner mascara and I'll finish up my face and I will be right back all right guys so I finished putting on my makeup and here is the final look I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit you guys can see the purple all of that the highlight though excuse the eyeliner came out a little wonky but you know i like it and like i said it's been a while that i haven't um that i haven't used colored eyeshadow i used to do color eyeshadow when i was in school and when i was doing my externship at an orthodontist i would always use color to match my scrubs if i was wearing a green top i would do my eyes green if i was wearing a teal top i would basically color my eyes the same way on the top oh i just dipped my finger um one of the things that i noticed on the palette is that uh this palette this specific palette has some of most of the same ingredients as the anastasia beverly hill renaissance palette as you guys know one of the main ingredients in that palette is mica this palette right here if you guys can see i'm gonna zoom y'all in um right here it says mica so and talc those are the two main ingredients that are part of the um they're part of an eyeshadow palette so i didn't read that until right now so i just finished doing my makeup um but that means it's a good palette it has a good formula um I do suggest this palette. I do give it a thumbs up. If you guys ever go to Burlington or if you go to TJ Maxx or if you go to a Ross or um, if you have a DD's discount or any type of store, you know, that has good quality makeup. I do recommend if you guys see this palette, I do recommend you, you know, getting this just because one, it is a good quality and two, like I said before, you don't have to spend so much on an eyeshadow palette I mean these blended out so amazingly um, you know they're very pigmented as you guys can see they're blendable they're able you know if you don't have enough color you're able to pack it on but yeah um, I will be doing another makeup tutorial using this palette and I'm feeling pink vibes I'm thinking of probably this will be like a My Little Pony um, makeup video thing um but i am going to be doing another tutorial on this palette i'm going to be doing basically i can do various looks on this palette this is also calling me for a black classic smoky eye nobody ever does the classic black smoky eye and white or grayish type anymore and that's the perfect type of look for the holidays so i'll be also doing that as well but yeah, that would be it for my video. Um, like I said before, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like this video, leave a comment if you like. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow's video. Alright, bye.